Hello guys, today I want to tell you about a new feature in Laravel framework released this week in Laravel 8.77, this time by Taylor Rotwell himself. He didn't really like how get foo attribute and set foo attribute works with accessors and mutators, and he suggested a different syntax, this one. Let's try it out in practice. And I will show you an example based on the code generated by our quick admin panel. So one of the settings when creating a panel is date format. And in the resulting admin panel, you see something like this. So for example, you have start date and you've chosen this format to be the date format of your project. And then when you add a project, let's use fake filler Chrome extension. So this is the format that user sees visually this one, but in the database, it's actually this one year, month, date. And we do that by doing accessors and mutators. This one, so get start date attribute, we're formatting and set start date attribute, we're also formatting to the database format. Now this syntax can be shortened into one method in 8.77. Let's take a look. So instead of those two methods, we implement a third method called protected because it's not meant to be called outside of this class, protected function start date. So the same logic, by the way, applies for camel case. So it's not start date like in the database, it should be start date, and then it should return attribute, which comes from illuminate database eloquent cast attribute. And then inside we have two features, get and set. So for get we have a function value. This is a short syntax function, which appeared from what I remember in 7.4 PHP or even 7.3. So for get, we just copy and paste this line of code and for set the good part is that you don't need to assign this to this attribute so we copy only that part right side set function value equals this and of course that get and set should be a part of return new attribute and then inside of that attribute we have get and set and then it's separated by commas here, get and set like this. Let's reformat that with PHP storm and have semicolon here. So this is the new code of start date. What are the benefits? First, it's shorter. So one method instead of two methods. Second, the structure is more strict and more readable, I think, because those two methods, for example, you can place them in different parts of your model of your eloquence. So it could be a mess potentially. I've seen that happening in the real life. And this is a function which is responsible for one specific field in the database with both accessor and mutator. And also you don't need to specify these attributes. So it's generally better structure. You can read actually more arguments by Taylor himself here in the pull request. And I will link that in the description below. So now if we comment out those get and set so accessors and mutators don't exist and then we try to add one more set of data with fake filler let's add 17th of december we save it still works so the formatting works and in the database it's still formatted as ymd so this is a new feature the old way will still work so it's not a breaking change it's just one additional way to describe the attributes a bit shorter. Taylor says that it may be changed in the docs. So if we scroll down a bit, will the old approach go away? No, it will be just replaced in the documentation. So probably it will go away sometime in the future, like in Laravel 10 or 11 or something. So I do encourage you to start to use the new approach and to get used to it because it will be the future recommended way. What do you think about this change? Would you agree? Would you use it? Shoot in the comments below. And if you want to generate a project like this, the admin panel, don't forget to check out our quickadminpanel.com, which has three versions of the generator. So if you click try for free, you can choose from Laravel jQuery, Vue.js or Livewire Tailwind. And one of the fields while creating the panel is date format, for example. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.